What's going on all my YouTube buddies? It's me, Jacob, with another video. I'm joined by my sister, Jamie. We just got out of our little movie theater, and we just saw the movie Missing Link, the latest film from Leica Studios. If you don't know who Leica are, they make some really great yeah, stop motion films. Kubo and Two Strings, Two Strings Coraline, The Box Trolls, Paranorman. This is our latest film, and it involves... An adventurer, voiced by Hugh Jackman, who goes on a quest to find the missing link, a uh, Sasquatch, Bigfoot type creature, and he's voiced by Seth, Seth Galvanakis, and they team up to find a lost village of yetis. Mm -hmm. And that's to, yeah, that's the movie in a nutshell. It's kind of a mix between. Indiana Jones and Around the World in 80 Days. Yeah. Uh, the character has the charm and charisma of Indiana Jones, but the comparison to Around the World in 80 Days, he's an adventurer that wants to prove himself to be a noble adventurer and scientist to prove this club wrong on um, his findings, and he kind of makes a wager to find this creature to prove his name. That's why I got the Around the World in 80 Days vibe. And so, Jamie, what would you think of the film? Well, yeah, I know. Um, well, for anime movies coming out this year, I was highly... I was highly anticipated on Hunter and Dragon 3, and I think uh, this one was at my 2 or 3 yeah. spot. So how did it live up? Uh, well, I liked it, but... I know Lag has done some better stuff. I mean, yeah, Missing Link's still watchable. Yeah, I don't think this is one of their best films. I agree. It was a fun adventure. Let's put it yeah. that way. Uh, I liked... I did like the main character. I thought he was very well voiced by Hugh Jackman. I think he brought a lot of the charm to the film, along with Zach Galifianakis, as well as the missing Link. Uh, he kind of reminded me of Drax a little bit, because in that oh, camp of where he yeah. takes things too literally. Don't ever call me a thesaurus. <laughs> they don't do that in Missing Link, but they do the whole, uh, like, you have my word, and like, what word is that? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. So, there's a lot of good physical comedy in there, too. I like a lot of the stuff between him and uh the link uh, uh there's zoe zeldana voice is a fun oh, character in the yeah. film as well the animation is just stunning i just love seeing stop motion films come to life on the big screen and some of their recent movies like uh, they have a little feature during the credits yeah, where you see the behind the scenes look at some of their films yeah, they started doing that with box trolls yeah the stuff they did and some of the stuff they did in Missing Link is some of their best work. Like, there's a shot of them on an elephant going across the jungle. Yeah. And I was just, I was just blown away at just the sheer scale and magnitude of what they're able to do. Like, they build all the sets and they create all the characters and models. And stop motion just doesn't get enough love. Yes, CG yeah. animation is good. 2D animation is good. But there's something about stop motion that. Yeah, I deeply admire, and the fact that Nike is not making enough money on their films really saddens me. Yeah, I say. So I kind of recommend you see Missing Link just to give Leica the love because they really need it. I don't want them to go out of business. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think Missing Link is one of their weaker films. I don't think it has the weight of Kubo and the Two Strings or the relatability of movies like Coraline and Paranorman. I can see some audiences being taken aback by some of the themes of Missing Link. Uh, since going into the whole hey. Christian camp, they, they do heavily discuss topics like evolution and stuff. So if you're in the, the Christian camp, uh, they don't go heavy-handed with it. I thought it was for a little bit, but they don't do any Christian bashing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, man. I thought I was going to get a little on the nose, but they didn't. You can still watch it as an adventure film and still have fun with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, adventure movie, buddy comedy. Yeah, adventure movie, buddy comedy. Uh, I, did, I did like a lot of the themes that tackled. I think they bring up uh 
xenophobia in the film, which that's the, uh, pretty much the fear of a different group of people. And that's kind of been addressed before in recent films such as Zootopia, and I guess oh, even yeah. in, uh, Smallfoot in a way, but that was an interesting little addition to the film as well. Uh, not as well executed as something like Zootopia, but... Yeah, I, Zootopia I, dealt with racism and drugs! Yeah, but I think Missing Link does it okay. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of interesting themes in the film, and... It shows the boldness Like is willing to take in their films, and while... I'd say Missing Link isn't one of their best films. It's still a fun little adventure, and I would love to see more of what Laika has to offer. And so, Jamie, what are you going to rate Missing Link? I'm going to give it uh, four stars. Yeah, I'm going to go four stars as well. It's not one of their best films, but that doesn't mean it's awful. We both had fun with it. And if you're a stop-motion fan, definitely check this movie out. On the underpoint scale, I will give Missing Link a 74 out of 100. <laughs> and before we go on, let's br we'll briefly rank the Leica films. So, Jamie, what are your ranking of the five Leica films? I'd be Kubo. Wait, is, is this best? Yeah, best to worst. Best to worst. All right, so Kubo, Coraline, Missing Link, Paranorman, and Box Trolls. Okay, uh, that's a good ranking. I'm going to go worst to best. And for me, at, my, at the bottom, number five is Missing Link. And then the Box Trolls at number four. And then Paranorman at number three. And Coraline at number two. And my favorite is Kubo and the Two Strings. Yeah, that one blew our mind. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, this is the exact same theater we saw Kubo and the Two Strings in. Uh, as one of my favorite theatrical experiences of all time, I think. Just to, just to see stop motion come to life in such a new way. Yeah, Skeleton Monster, Kuba versus his own grandfather. Yeah, there, there was some incredible stuff in that movie. Uh, Travis Knight directed that one, and he's come a long way since Kubo. All right, so that was our little uh, first reaction vlog video on Missing Link. Uh, let us know down in the comments below, would you find a missing link if you've seen it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But please be civil and respectful of those opinions. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. I have some more videos planned for you soon. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless and we will see you next time. Goodbye!